Julius and John is seated next to his lovely wife. Put your hands together for the Hawk, Julian Jackson. <laughs> Julian, very excited to have you with us. Uh, we're fighting off the rain, but it'll be a great weekend if you can can share with us a little bit of your feelings of being here at the Boxing Hall of Fame? Uh, first of all, let me say, uh, you know, I, I really appreciate, you know, every all the boxing fans coming on and supporting us. Uh, I first want to say uh, thanks to God, you know. Um, I, I believe that if it was not for God, I wouldn't be in this position. I wouldn't be uh, sitting here uh, if it wasn't for God that came into my life and uh, literally uh, changed me. And, uh, I'm grateful for what he has done and what he's doing. And um, again, uh, I want to thank you all for the opportunity to come and share with you. I, I know how it is to be uh, you know, a, a boxing fan. Uh, I'm a boxing fan myself. <laughs> you know, I have a lot of boxing fans out there. And um, a lot of champions don't know, know that, really don't know that. But, uh, it's just a privilege to come and, and uh, you know, and, and talk a little bit about you know, your experiences. And uh, I really welcome it. Thank you, Julian, and we're, we're happy to have you here and uh, that you uh, brought your sons along. And of course, ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for his lovely wife, Alicia. And now we'd like to open it up to some questions, and I'm sure you'll be very excited with the questions uh, uh, you'll get. We're going to start off right up here, right up front. Right. First of all, welcome to Canastota. We're really happy to have you here. Yes, it's my first time here, and uh, it's amazing. For my money, if I were to hire somebody to land a punch against my worst enemy, <laughs> you would be the guy to hire. But I know you're a Christian man and would probably turn it down. <laughs> but uh, uh, I remember reading somewhere, maybe a KO interview or whatever, that you knew that you landed a knockout punch when you felt vibrations going up and down your forearm. Right. Uh, you know, probably fell against Buster Drayton, you probably fell against Harold Graham. What were some what are your feelings when you know you landed the sweet yeah. shot? I didn't that you knew I wrote an article about the yeah. uh, I would I would use the uh, like, uh almost like a, yeah, a tinkling, you know, a feeling if you want to call it a tinkling or a shot. And uh, like a when I feel that, uh, I don't even have to look. I would just okay. walk away. You know, You're not going to uh, sign from that. Bottom right, you know. And, uh, sometimes, uh, sometimes I would just direct like him with a fall. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you know, but thank God, uh, you know, everyone that I've, I've, I've competed with have never seriously been injured, and um, I, I was always thankful for that. You know, and um, as uh, a professional, you know. A lot of us, you know, we get to a point where, you know, we reach to the top of our uh, game and we go out there and uh, the next thing you know, we want to the other guy's head off, but really the intention is not, uh, uh, you know, to go out there and kill somebody. And, uh, you know, I, I thank God that it would have never happened to me. Julian, now. Uh we're very excited uh, not only to have you here, but uh, Julius is going to do a workout tomorrow. Uh, obviously, uh, boxing is in the blood oh, with uh, John and Julius. If you could speak to us a little bit about your sons and, and uh, uh, I mean, was it just uh, genetics, uh, hereditary, that they followed your path? Uh, they very athletic uh, as, as young, young boys. You know, as, as, uh, as babies, you know, uh, uh, going to Las Vegas, you know, coming from the Virgin Islands, and um, you all know that I live in the Virgin Islands. Uh, I'm born and raised there, and uh, the thing is, um, you know, I, I never did want to leave the islands. Uh, island is in you know, my island man, and uh, you know, going to Las Vegas was a tremendous opportunity, you know, for us to see, uh, the, you know, the next side of the world, you know, in that sense. And uh, going there, my sons. They were little kids at that time, and they would travel with me, and they would see, you know, they would bring them to the fight, and they would see me boxing. You know, they, they got so used to it, you know, to a point where uh, if they are looking at TV and they and they, they see on uh, CBS or whatever, and they see boxing, they would always think it's me. <laughs> they would always think that I'm the one boxing on, on the on the television. So they got really caught up with it, and um, now 
uh, I'll tell you what, they are um, right now they're, they're minor champions. Okay? Uh, and John, who's my youngest, really my youngest boy, he's uh well he's he's my second youngest boy. He's uh, he's a champion, uh, just fought at ESPN, okay, and uh, he's 15 with one with 14 knuckles and uh, I think he's 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 carrying the uh, the pedigree, you know. He has the the, the, the the hardest punch really right now out of all my boys fighting. But I have Julius who will be coming tomorrow. You know, Julius Jackson and um, he's uh, 16 and oh, you know, and uh, he's a super middleweight. And um, believe it or not, I also have uh, a super heavyweight. I have a super heavyweight. As a matter of fact, he's in Puerto Rico right now. He's be fighting. He'll be boxing for the final, okay, uh, in Puerto Rico. I uh, just spoke to him and uh, he was all excited. And um, he's 200 and uh, he's 268 pounds, okay, and he's uh, he's six five, you know. And uh, <laughs> it's amazing. And uh, he loves boxing, and they all love boxing. And uh, boxing has been good, you know, to me. And I believe, I believe this, you know, if you respect the sport of boxing. Boxing will respect you, and that's something that I've learned uh, from my old trainer Willie. And he always told me, he said, Julian, if you respect the sport, this sport is going to respect you. And I thank God today I have my right mind, you know, and um, I enjoy life. And um, you know, uh, God has been good to me, and I've never had a, 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 a serious problem, you know, as far as boxing is concerned. And um, I, I mean, I just enjoy life, and I, I want to thank all the fans. Because of you guys as well, you know, coming on and supporting us in what we do, and uh, we really appreciate it. Thank you very much. Hi, Julian. Um, we're from London, England. We've got a good, very, very good friend of ours, Harold Bomber Graham. Does that name ring a bell? Yes, sir. <laughs> You scored a sensational knockout over him. Was I think it was round three in Spain, yes. and uh, he he was actually uh, winning. And I think you yes. were given one round. Oh, they're going to put you out with a cut eye. As a matter of fact, I'm, I'm going to say I'm going to share something with you guys that I've never shared with the world before, and I'm going to share it here, right here, uh, 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 the Hall of Fame in in, in kind of soldier. Something that nobody have never heard of but my close relatives. And it's spiritual. And I'm, 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 uh, a lot of people would wonder, you know, how can God be involved in boxing? And boxing is a violent sport. Well, I believe that boxing is a sport. And I, I believe that it's up to the individual. Okay? If you are violent, you make the sport violent. You know what I'm saying? And, and I don't see myself as being a violent person, definitely not. And um, I wouldn't call boxing a violent sport because I'm not violent. But you know, Harold Graham, and um, I had a, a, a detached retina, that's why they didn't allow me to fight in England. I think it was supposed to be. And uh, we went to uh, Spain, Marabao, Spain, and we fought there. And I remember. You know, Harold Graham is a very awkward fighter, strong legs. And um, this kid, you know, he came out after me and he caught me a shot in my eye and my eyes actually swole up. And uh, I remember the referee saying, um, I'm gonna have to stop this fight. And, you know, I think it was Joe Cortez. I'm not sure, Joe, were you there? Yeah, he says yes. <laughs> Joe said, Joe said, I'm gonna stop this fight. You know, if, 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 if things don't work out for you. So, you know what? When I went back in the, um, I think it was in the second round, I went back in the corner, and my, my trainer said to me, well, you're gonna have to switch. Because, uh, you know, I got caught on, the, uh, on my right eye, so I have to switch on the salt the stand. And I said, you know, to him, I said, okay, I'm gonna go ahead. And um, I said a little prayer, believe it or not, right in the heat of battle, you know, this, this prayer came to me and I said, God, you know, I've trusted you all these years in my career and um, I've been giving you, you know, the best that I can give, but I'm asking you to give me your best. And 
I went out there, and believe me, I felt something that, that, that took place. And I'm not a solver. When I stood in the solver stand, and how Graham came right at me, and I, I literally saw everything almost in slow motion. And I threw that punch, and it was a, a, a hook. And God showed up. <laughs> and I caught, I caught Harold Graham with that punch, and uh, I couldn't believe it myself. You know, and I caught him with the, uh, the right book, and he was out. And everybody was amazed. But the funniest thing, right? A lot of us might say, well, how can, you know, God be involved in knocking a guy out? Well, I'll be honest with you. I feel in my heart, okay, that uh, that punch was almost like, I don't know if you guys have ever heard of somebody getting their, their, getting hands laid on, and they lay out. Well, I was just laying my hands on him. <laughs> okay, and uh, he went out, and uh, that's 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 the way it was, man. <laughs> I got my way. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Julian, a follow up follow up question all the way back here. Yes. Well, we have had a discussion with Harold about that fight, and I'm sure he thinks the devil was involved somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> Make no mistake. And we said to Harold, you know, you, the fight was going to be stopped that round. Why didn't you get behind your jab and run away? And he said, Bob, I wanted to finish it in style. And he sort of finished it in style, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you, man. All right. Awesome. You know, uh, you know what? I remember um, uh, after facing our Graham, and, um, you know, after standing up in the, in the, in the, uh, for the first round, this kid was so awkward, you know, and um, it was almost like impossible. And I kept trying to adjust, I tried to do my best, but I realized that when I switched to Salpa myself, it threw him off. And he figured that he was going to come in for the kill. And I knew he wanted to uh, finish me off. And I realized that uh, if I switched to Salpa, I would I'll be able to see him better because this eye was close, so I was able to see him with the opposite eye. And uh, he came right into the punch, and uh, that was the end of it. Awesome. Any more questions for Julian out here? Huh? I'd like, uh, before him, I'd like to get Alicia to tell us a little bit what, what you're feeling about this fighting family. Huh? Well, as the mom and wife, I'm just a supported agent. I pray a lot. <laughs> but it's a lot of fun because uh, I know my, my men are very powerful, so I'm their biggest cheerleader. And it's just a lot, it's, it's really exciting, and I enjoy it, because they are, I call them gentlemen of the ring. Because when most other fighters will do, and have been there to some of their fights, they have done some underhanded stuff to try and take us out early, but we say, they say gentlemen, and they box the boxing sport. And I know Julius's nickname is the chef. So there must be some good recipes in the family too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I enjoy cooking, so we do it together sometimes. Uh, I gotta uh, have some of my historians, but there's not many boxing families uh, in the record books. Uh, the uh, uh, Stribblings. Uh, they have a father, son, son uh, collection. I, I, I mean, there can't be a handful, is there? A, Not too many, not too many, both to be a champion at the you know, highest level of the sport and then the next generation doing the same. Yeah, it seems a rarity that you're, there's not many families that uh, truly progress and that are uh, you know, exposed and, and climbing the ladder. And, and being, uh, even, even, even in the amateur ranks, uh, both of my sons qualified for uh, the 2008 Olympics. And uh, to me, that was amazing, you know, for sure. Yeah, it was amazing. I think I saw a hand. Yeah. Uh, Question it. Oh, right here. Uh, nice to meet you. Yes. Uh, I saw you fought Gerald McCullough. Yes. Uh, how do you think he would have did against Roy Jones? Um, Gerald McCullough against Roy Jones. I, I, I think uh, I think the speed may have, I, I think that's better of him. But, uh, you know, I must say that uh, Carl Graham was a tremendous puncher himself. 
And, uh, you know, he caught me, uh, you know, in my first fight with him. Uh, I remember, uh, I was winning the fight, I thought I was ahead, winning the fight, and I got a little cocky and I uh, got caught with his right hand. And, uh, you know, that's something that we both, uh, I think, said, we're going to hit first. And I was I wondering if you got a whole system going there. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, we're so happy to have. Uh, oh, well, okay. Julian, I'd like to know which was your toughest fight and your death. Samuel Rogers, is he still fighting? We had tried to make a fight, we did a one fight. We'll have a soft sidebar about that later. All right. <laughs> Doing some business on the side. All right, all right. Well, my, my tough fight, my toughest fight was uh, actually my first loss when uh, my first try for a uh, uh, world title when I fought Mike McCollum in uh, I think it was uh, Atlantic City or Miami. I think it was Miami, and I lost against Mike McCollum. And uh, after that, uh, I had a comeback fight. Uh, it was uh, a young man by the name of Kudalitz in Connecticut, and uh, whew, that was a tough fight. Uh, after coming off that loss, uh, you know, went in with uh, Uda Leaks, and uh, he, he knocked me down, and I knocked him down, you know, got back up, you know, I knocked him down, he knocked me down, and then eventually I knocked him out. <laughs> uh, I think the ninth, the ninth round, and uh, that was one of my toughest fights, I tell you that. That was one of my toughest And then you're going to do some business later with that guy. Oh yeah, my, ne my nephew, uh, he's still undefeated. Uh, he's fighting, as a matter of fact, uh, when I go back home, we'll be uh, working on getting him an uh, uh, upcoming fight uh, very near future. All right, baby. <laughs> Don't work that out there. Um, ladies and gentlemen, again, uh, I think you can see already, we've, we've kind of had the theme uh, that's that's uh, developing here as uh, you know we, we keep our our, our mindset uh, uh, paying uh, uh, you know homage and, and our memorials to Carmen Basilio to Arturo Gotti uh, to Macho Camacho uh, but we see the I, I can feel it I think you can too this spirit uh, 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 this thread uh, a family thread uh, earlier with uh, Gaspar and Joe and Michael and Troy, and then uh, Julian and his, his lovely wife, Alicia, sharing with us uh, 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 their faith, their family. Um, it, it seems to be uh, uh, what we're all about here, uh, especially this year uh, when our hearts are, are heavy and, uh, and our thoughts are many. So uh, we are so excited, uh, Julian and uh, Alicia, to have you and your family here this year. Uh, it's going to be a great weekend, uh, you'll see as each day unfolds. So ladies and gentlemen, let's put our hands together for the Hawk, Julian Jackson!